Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day, happy Thanksgiving Eve. And here is 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball, Hobby Edition, 12 boxes, pick your team 6, HTA drops on Friday, Hobby today. Plenty more in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card ship too. Big thanks to this group for making it happen, appreciate it. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. Logan, you ended up with the Padres. Last spot, Mojo Star next to your name. That means you. Uh, that means 70% of the time, allegedly, it's a legend has it that 70% of the time, last spot, Mojo hits 100% of the time. Looks like Clippers Warriors coming out. Gila, what were you saying earlier today about Steph Curry doing something with something? I forgot to respond to that, but I kept it in my brain. I was like, oh, I can talk to him about that again. All right, so there's your 12 right there. This break will take about an hour. So settle in. After this, we'll go through some more orders. I only see a few orders coming in. But there is a new team random loaded up that'll help fill up uh, number seven if you want to do pick your team number seven. And remember, um, Jason started early. I came in late, staying late. So we got plenty of time to do, uh, to do many more cases. So hopefully everyone's going to have... What's everyone doing for Thanksgiving? Anyone doing anything exciting? And Gilo and I are talking. Gilo is asking, what are you doing, Joe? And this is one of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. So I've got an early morning flight. Uh, early morning flight. And so that's why I'm staying kind of late. I'll get to the airport somewhat early. Not super early. Early enough. I'm wondering if there'll be some World Cup action on, but Gila was like, yeah, TVs should be on, but it'll probably be on the wrong channel. No one's going to know how to change the channel or work it. I don't think there's going to be any bars open by the time I get there. What is the story with, with bars in airports once you're past security? Are you allowed to be open? Is it like Vegas hours? It's open 24 hours? Or does it still stand by local rules? Like in California, bars close... Uh, and you can't stop, can't sell alcohol past 2 a.m. basically. So does that still ha happen at LAX inside a secure terminal? Right, you can't really go back outside. But then I thought maybe they could, maybe there's a workaround for that law in an airport terminal. But then I realized, is there anyone going to be? Are there still staffing shortages? Is there anyone who will be working that bar on a holiday? At that, at four in the morning, <laughs> for degenerates like me, uh, the answer seems to be seems like it's going to be no. One thirty-one to one forty-nine. John Carlos Stan. I think we got some uh, basketball Clippers Warriors and things coming up. Gila was saying Giants are using Curry. Steph Curry is a recruitment tool. That's the thing you were talking about earlier. As a recruitment tool for Judge. There's Quincy Hamilton to two fifty. That's for the Astros. That'll be for Stephen. Mahomes needs to do that for the Royals. Yeah. Isn't Mahomes a part owner of the Royals? Now, I know Mahomes is busy trying to win football games, but he might have to take some time to do... It's 152 out of 199. Rosemar Quintana for Michael and the Nationals. So what did Steph do? We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break, too. Does Steph just do a video, or is he like reaching out to him on social media? And this is Johan who uh, won the Royals in that filler. He is and sporting Casey. So Mahomes basically needs to be like, hey. Cristiano Ronaldo, you got to come to Sporting KC, play for the MLS team. And hey, Aaron Judge, go sign with the Royals. 
There's Cameron Colley for the Rangers. That's going to go to John. And there's Oscar Colas. 87 out of 250. And Yankil Fernandez. I've got a list here of some of the players that are sort of on an upper tier. It's, I mean, it's worth saving all of these cards. That's where we're, all card should. It's worth saving all of these Bowman firsts and whatnot because... Who knows who's going to turn out to be a bust or a superstar. But I think the obvious rookies are Julio Rodriguez, Wander Franco, Bobby Witt Jr., Jeremy Pena, O'Neal Cruz, Torkelson. And I think some of the prospects we're looking for is Christian Vaccaro, Roderick Arias, Jackson Curio, Yasser Mercedes, Yankil Fernandez, and Jackson Merrill. Wow, that's very mysterious. They put Seth Curry in touch, quote, in touch with Judge. Hmm. How do you think that works in like the world of celebrities and celebrity athletes and stuff like that? How do you think that works? Do you think the GM calls the? I guess who's Aaron Judge's agent? I guess I guess there's agency agents that they can call. So. Someone calls their agent, says, "Hey, I'm so and so, president of Warriors Operations." No, someone from the Giants. I'd have to talk to the Warriors. Someone, so someone from the Giants say, "Hey, calls the Warriors and say, you think Steph wants to?" Talk to Aaron Judge. If you're Steph Curry, you you just get Aaron Judge's number, like. How does that? Uh, it's just it's just kind of odd. You know, like Steph Curry gets handed a handed a uh, two one two number, and he just calls, and then Aaron Judge looks at it, looks at his phone, and there's a four one five number popping up. Does he just answer? Because it's like his private phone or something. There's Joey Votto two ninety nine. No way, you text first, right? You got to text first. There's Royland Mashandi. You got to text. You got to text first, and then you got to deliver a name that, like a secret, is there a secret code? Because if, if I look at my phone and say, hey, Joe, this is Steph Curry. I'd be like, delete? <laughs> There's CJ Abrams, although Steph Curry wouldn't be calling me. Maybe the agent says, hey, Steph's going to call you. It's going to be from this number. I suppose that's how it works. Well, you, you would FaceTime straight up first? I don't know. I, I, feel like, I feel like I would text first. I'd be like, yo, this is Steph Curry. You know, Bob's assistant, Jane, gave me this number. There's Colson Montgomery. You know, and you'd be like, oh yeah, I know that person. You know what I mean? There's CJ Rodriguez. So this guy's got to be legit. There's CJ Rodriguez for the A's. That's going to be for Jason Jones. And then it'd be like, hey, you got, you got a minute to talk? And then I'd call. I'm a, I'm a text first, call later person. There'd be problems if one of them has an Android. That wouldn't be a problem. Oh, I guess FaceTime would be a problem. <laughs> I could see. I could see. I'm. I'm a. I'm a Samsung Galaxy guy. I could see Aaron Judge being a Samsung Galaxy guy. Steph probably is an iPhone guy. Grizzlebee saying, "Say Steph, you should at least live in Orinda. Could be a five one zero. Hmm. Hmm. That's possible. Or." 
Uh, aren't they? Aren't they originally from? Where are they originally from? North North Carolina, maybe. They could have North Carolina. Uh, you know, area codes. Maybe they're on a family plan. I think Seth, Seth, Dell, and their mom. They all they all have a they all have a family plan from back home. Like Seth's personal cell phone is still like the one from North Carolina. And maybe a Davidson number. Guy's first cell phone in college. Yeah, Curry just trying to get judge on the family plan. Yeah, what do you even say? Gilo was asking this earlier. Two different sports. What do you, what do you even say? Hey, hi, Aaron. This is this is Steph. This is Stefan. There's John Carl Stanton. You know, I just want to let you know, but like Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, well, Aaron Rodgers too, but Aaron Judge grew up in Northern California. It's not like Steph's going to be like, hey, the city is great. San Francisco is fantastic. There's lots to do around here. A lot of food, a lot of tech. If you want to expand your brand, you can do that here. But he's like, you know, Aaron Judge would be like, yeah, I know. I grew up in Northern California. Just, I mean, maybe an hour or so outside. I, I grew up there. I know what it's. I know what it's about. There's Randy R. Zerania for the Rays. Corey. <laughs> Can you imagine if Dell still pays the bill? Like Dad still pays the cell phone bill. There's Tyler Collins, Braves, Ryan Heinz, and we got Simon Juan. Bowman first refractor for the Mets. That'll be for Kyle. It's to four ninety nine. Yeah, I don't know what Steph would really say. Does Aaron Judge strike you as someone who's going to be starstruck? By that doesn't seem like that either. Oh, I see. Jason Jaspi's like Steph could be like. Yeah, but let me show you the San Francisco that I know. <laughs> Judge is like, what? Let me, t let me take you to the Holy Moly set. Ooh, that would sell me. Steph Curry is let me take you to my mini golf set. There's Edison Paulino, 431 to 499. That's for the Red Sox. That'll be for Johan with the Red Sox. And Willie Fanas, 105 to 150. Yeah, Rex was saying Aaron Judge would look weird in a Giants uniform. He would. Going from pinstripes to to the to the ugly creamsicle, orange creamsicle. Wait, Gilo, maybe the M. Night Shyamalan twist? Here's the M. Night Shyamalan twist. Steph Curry is calling Aaron Judge to recruit him to the Warriors. How about that? That's the Shyamalan twist. Yeah, Aaron Judge went to go talk to Giants representatives this week. But really... He's secretly working his way to the Golden State Warriors. Who could who could use a little help these days? All right? Aaron Judge, 6'7? Ooh, that's like a that's like a nice uh nice shooting guard size. Right there, a little six seven. I think he's got a long wingspan. Could instantly add impact on, on the defensive end. You know, I can, I'll, 
Aaron Judge could probably play a little big too. He's 282, 6'7, 282. You know, I mean, you can put him in a small forward spot. Yeah, you can put him in the post, Gilo. I'm liking that. You know? Get those right. I mean, we've seen him make some nice catches. Nice leaping catches in the outfield. He's got some ups. Hmm. You're telling me he didn't play some basketball being that height in high school? Had to have. Yep, went to Linden High School in Northern California. A three-sport star. Played as a pitcher, first baseman for the baseball team, a wide receiver for the football team, a center for the basketball team. Average 18 a game in, a, I guess, Division division three hoops, though. There's Hedbert Perez, Purple Shimmer to 250. 52 out of 250 for the Brew Crew, Matthew. And he started his school play. He probably did. Probably did. He's a good-looking guy. Probably started his school play. Grizzlebees, you're right. There's Wilfred Veras. <laughs> he played... He played Ann? Are you talking about Annie? Uh, there's Stephen Carney. I mean, that's range. He's got talent. There's Marco Luciano to 250. Orphan Annie. He's got range. That's the thing. That's what Steph's recruiting him for. We've, we've uncovered it, ladies and gentlemen. Rafael Devers, 365 to 499. And we got Emmanuel Valdez, Steven, with the Strohs. There's Leonardo Balcazar, 105 out of 199. That'll be for the Reds. That's going to go to Nathaniel. So now you have to ask, why do we have to ask that now, Rex? When will Judge host SNL? Do you think he'll host SNL? Maybe he should. Maybe uh, sketches about his height, sketches about his baseball playing, sketches about where you're going to sign. Oh, I don't think he really did theater, Rex. We were just, we we're just messing around. Gila was just saying he played all three sports. He was in debate club, like like his his uh, his high school transcript is like a mile long of all the extracurriculars he did. No, I don't think he actually did. he might have. I don't know. He might have did theater. We were just joking around that he just seemed to do it all at his high school. Class president, debate club, you know, started a start, started a, a compost pile at school. There's Wander Franco, just classic overachiever Aaron Judge. Who 
would LA use as a recruitment tool? LeBron, Mookie Betts. I feel like those would be the two guys that would be. Shane Boz to four ninety nine. Yeah. Aaron Judge, part of Chess Club. Shane Boz, Refractor, going to Corey and the Rays. And Jonathan Mejia for Dan and the Cardinals. Luis Robert to 199. There's Eddie's Leonard for the Dodgers, 250. And Charlie Welch. Seattle, that's going to be for John and the Mariners. Jose Miranda, 67 out of 250. I feel like they have a lot of actors who are on SNL. Actually, I mean, actually, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't really keep track. But maybe they're... I don't know, look, look at last season's host list. How many of them are actors and how many of them are not? Next box. Remember all card ship. So if I were to uh, slide past some of the some of these names here, don't worry, everything's gonna ship. There's Eric Hernandez, uh, 69 out of 150. For the White Sox, that's going to go to Steven. And there's a Wilfred Veras, also for the White Sox. That's a refractor to 499. These uh, shimmer parallels are not numbered, by the way. There's an O'Neill Cruz rookie card. And another Charlie Welch. For the Mariners, that's for John. And an orange Bo Bichette. All right, got a few nice cards here. There's Christian Vaccaro. That'll be for Michael and the Nationals. Here's uh, Jason Curio for Cleveland. That's going to be for Jordan. I think we have him as Jackson Curio, but I think we're, we're looking for Jason Curio. Jackson Merrill is what we're looking for. 
All right, and that Bobochet orange will be for Mark and the Bluebirds. 23 out of 25. Any baseball news happening here? Nothing really, right? Besides Marin Judge meeting with the Giants, Bryce Harper with the Tommy John, Angels getting Hunter Renfro. Not the wide receiver for the Raiders, but the baseball player for the, from the Brewers. Red Sox signed Yoli, uh, Joely Rodriguez. There's really nothing much after that. These are news we already saw already. Red Sox acquire Hoy Park. I think that was the um, the Pirates po prospect, Korean prospect. Carlos Rodon meeting with the Rangers. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like Rangers are going to be spending some money again. I mean, they should. I mean, they they got the uh, they got the hitting right the season before signing uh, Simeon, right? Marcus Simeon and and uh, and Corey Seager. You know, they've got some youngsters coming up the ranks too. And now, if they could, um, if they can get. Well, they got didn't they get John Gray? Lab? But he I feel like John Gray solid when he was healthy, but was rarely healthy last season. But if they can put a Carlos Rodon on the top of that lineup. Got that new ballpark money too. Hmm. Could be interesting. And we've got a JoJo Blackman. Speaking of the Rangers, 54 out of 99, Texas. John won that team in the filler for the Rangers. Staying elite, what's going on? You're a new collector. Welcome. Can you help help you understand parallels? What do you mean? Do you have a specific question? Like that's a parallel. Number 85 to 299, speckle. How to identify them. Pretty easy. Uh, let me open up another box. Stick with me here. And a lot of times it's going to be obvious because there's a different pattern in the background, right? That And they're, sometimes they're numbered. So, for example, the, this, the regular Jeremy Vargas autograph would just be a plain background and no number. All right, so that's a parallel autograph. And that's going to go to Matthew and the Brewers. So the rest of regular cards are just going to look like this. Right? But then there's a parallel, different color. Same picture, but different color and usually a number on the back. Some of them, like that shimmer, will be considered parallels, but they won't have a number. Oh, nice. You were at our shop earlier. Got a Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. Another box coming up. But most of the time, they're going to be pretty, pretty obvious, I want to say. And um, if you go, if you use a checklist like um, on CardboardConnection.com, and let's say you search for 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball, 
the checklist will show you what all the different parallels are, all the numbered parallels, non-numbered parallels, so on and so forth. So this would be the base or the common version. These are just different inserts, but there could be parallels of inserts too. And then there's Louis Chevalier, 173 out of 499 refractor auto. Mm, I did not say that, Gilo. That was that was a deal. For, that was a one night only deal. You missed out. So that's a parallel autograph. Yeah. What's the other question? That's for the Mariners, by the way, John, with the M's. Another parallel right here. Speckle to two forty nine. The Yankil Fernandez going to the Rockies, Corey. And the Piguero going to the Pirates, that'll be for Russell. Thanks, Julio Rodriguez. There's Cal Conley to 299. Heliot Ramos. I recently got 1988 packs. How do I know if a 1988 cards are a rookie? A lot of times they should have that symbol right there. Even back in 1988, they should be that symbol? I don't remember. You could check eBay too. It's Cal Conley, Speckle Autograph to 299. Final four boxes coming up. Oh, maybe not back then. Yeah, I guess eBay or a checklist might be the way the way they do it. What's up, Eric? Happy Thanksgiving, man. All right, next box. You know how I always say Jake should have his own burger. Seth should have his own beer. Why doesn't Seth have his own curry? Yeah. Why not? I don't think I've ever said Jake should have his, Seth should have his own beer. I, I always said Jake should have his own custom burger at the stadium. But then some White Sox fan pointed out, well, he's not that good to have his own burger. And I was like, oh, all right, fair, fair play, fair play. Should Seth have his own beer? Yeah, maybe he should. It's pretty, I mean, if you got that in your last name, I feel like it's your obligation to be part to be part of like the microbrew community or something like that. Could have his own brewery. Seth's beer or something like that. Uh, yeah. Steph could have his own his own set of curry shops. Why why doesn't this... suppose he's busy playing basketball, but I feel like off season start start a little restaurant business. Maybe he's too maybe he's too smart to start a restaurant business. You joined the giveaway at our shop? Nice. Of course. Well, as long as you're entered, you got a chance. If you're not entered, I could guarantee you zero chance. But as long as you're entered, you got a chance. And you know what? Sometimes in life, that's all you need, a chance.
All right, there's Isaac De Leon, 294 out of 299. Speckle autograph for the Orioles. That'll be for Mark. Oh, I thought that was... Ref no, that's a refractor. James Wood. That's a parallel. Refractor parallel to 499. So staying elite, you're asking... You can kind of see the difference between a refractor right here and just a plain card right there. There's Wander Franco. Is that what we're giving away? There's Wander Franco, a helmet. And we got Reed Trimble, 62 out of 499. Mark with the Orioles. A signed football helmet. Is that what we're at? Do you have any idea what team it was or who it is? I know you don't watch a lot of football, but is Eddie's Leonard to 125? Was it that blue helmet? What are we giving away? What helmet are we giving away? Are we giving away the Josh Allen? Yeah, that's right up there. Wow. Wow, that's a really nice helmet. Yeah, we're, we're giving away the uh, Josh Allen. Remember that? Bill's helmet that was sitting on top of my cabinet. Looks like we're giving that away as a Black Friday special in, in store. Gilo, come by, put in a raffle ticket, Popeye. Yeah, we're giving away a full-size autograph Josh Allen autograph helmet, full-size Bill's helmet. Nice helmet. Yeah, staying elite. He's the quarterback of the uh, of the Buffalo Bills. Kind of one of the one of the rising stars of the National Football League. So he's really good. He's a quarterback. He's one of the top quarterbacks of the league. Just slip your name in there, Gilo. Slip some cash in my hand. And that is a uh, one per case scenario situation there. And that is Harry Ford, not Henry Ford, but Harry Ford for the Mariners. John, there you go, John. And there's Jay Allen, 52 out of 199. Not, not Josh Allen, but Jay Allen. Not Jay Cohen, but Jay Allen. Going to the Reds, Nathaniel with that one. And there's Dalen Leal, 58 out of 250. It's for Michael in the Nationals. There's Eloy Jimenez to 99. You're going to the baseball shop by Lomita. Do they have good prices? No. They have only Jaspies has the best prices. 
they have terrible price. Too expensive. It's Eloy Jimenez to 99 for the White Sox. It's Bobby Witt Jr. Johan with the Royals. I wouldn't even bother going there. Chaspie's sports cards and collectibles, the only hobby shop you need in the greater Los Angeles area. There's Cal Conley for the Braves. That's for Ryan Hines. To 299, the Yasser Mercedes. I think he's one of the guys, one of the kind of upper tier guys that we're chasing here. Nice speckle parallel for Raj and the Twins. Byron Allen might buy the Redskins. Who is Byron Allen? Byr Byron Allen? It sounds like a, that sounds like a golfer. In the, uh, in the 1930s, when that one kid won the U.S. Open in Massachusetts. Or could be a poet? Isn't there a, a Lord Byron? Uh, that, 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 that was a poet? Byron? Right, yeah. There's no other card shops in California. The only card shop that I know that exists is, is right here. PCH and Pier Ave, Hermosa Beach, California, right next to the van store. Wow, Byron Allen is a media mogul that's going to bid for the... Who does he mogul for? No, I like it. I like it. Trying to keep up with the Allen theme. Uh, for a second, I thought Byron Allen was a character in, uh, in, the, uh, in the great satire... American Psycho starring Christian Bale or the book by Brett Easton Ellis. There's uh, Antonio, Pan uh, Antonio Pinero, 20 out of 99, green for the Brewers, Matthew. But I think that was Paul Allen might have been in American Psycho. There's Matt Olson, yellow, parallel, 28 out of 75. And there's Alexander Suarez. Nice little color match there for the Giants. 19 out of 25. That's for Mark and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Huh. Yeah, Jay and Rex saying that he had a show back in the day? And now he's a... There's a Rosemont Verdugo. That's a cool looking parallel. 17 out of 125. Sort of like a like a rainbow sherbet parallel. Mmm, rainbow sherbet. That's for the Padres. That's going to be for Logan. I do love a good rainbow sherbet. I'm going to look that guy up right now. I know exactly who he is. Brandon saying Rosemont, Verdugo, big prospect. 
He's not on our list, but I mean, we can't sleeve everybody, but. But this is a great prospecting product. A lot of this, you would just, even if it's not a big name now, they're all prospects here. So it's just, that's why we're shipping all the cards. It's worth holding on to for a few years and seeing if they end up being big prospects. A oh, cotton candy parallel? Uh, you can see where both of our heads are at. What's it really called? <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we be accurate? I guess Jaspies is about accuracy. Why is my connection not private? In cardboard connections, it's not private. I can't access that site for whatever reason. Can't I just bypass this? Carportconnection.com having some issues here. What about does Beckett have the checklist? That's to 125. The out of 125s are not on this checklist. Oh, they just they call it an aqua refractor. Hmm. By the way, Byron Allen, I, I think he started uh, the Weather Channel. Am I, am I looking at that right? Yeah, founder of a U.S. entertainment company, Entertainment Studios, which includes the Weather Channel. RF asking, will Bowman pick your team eight break tonight? If you sell it out, it will. If you don't, if, if the people don't sell out, it won't. Michael, what's going on? Happy Thanksgiving Eve. There you go, Grizzleby gets it. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you on whether you sell it out or not. Now remember folks, YouTube not on tomorrow. But uh, Teddy Jaspie volunteered to break on Instagram, so he'll be live on Instagram tomorrow. At Jaspie's Breaks, Instagram Live. Alec Thomas for Kyle, and Roderick Arias for the Yankees. That'll be for Michael. There's Sedan Rafaela for Johan and the Red Sox. Give you the odds. I, I, I honestly don't know. RF. It really depends on you. If you buy multiple teams right now, convince other people to buy multiple teams, that means other people buy multiple teams and we'll do it tonight. If people don't want to buy it, they won't. The odds are entirely up to you. That They're in your hands, not in mine. There's Rain Doncon, Dodgers. Russell with the Dodgers. And there's Brett Beatty, Atomic Refractor, on that Arizona Fall League card to 150. That'll be for the Mets. That's going to go to Kyle. And that, my friends, is that. 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Pick your team six. In the books, here's a quick little recap. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Some nice color. 
A lot of nice on-card autographs. A lot of great parallels off to the side right here as well. A lot of great stuff. More on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.